Hi, I'm Ray and this is the Phone Arena Q&A. Let's kick things off with a question by Galaxy Stargaze. Hello there, Ray. I heard that the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 can shoot 4K videos, the Snapdragon 800 version. Does that mean that it has the ability to play back 4K videos straight from the phone? If so, then do the other phones that have Snapdragon 800 such as the G2 or the Z1 have that ability also? Thanks in advance. Well, the Galaxy Note 3 has 4K video recording and so it can also play those files back to you on the device itself. Other Snapdragon 800 phones like the G2 or the Z1 sure have this ability as well seeing that they have the same hardware components. However, you might experience some issues with their stock video players uh, but if you do so then uh, a quick download of MX player for example or other compatible player uh, should fix this issue for you. Tom the Nerd asks us about the speaker of the Nexus 5. Are the speakers audio on the Nexus 5 any good? Well I would say that it depends on how good you need your speaker to be. The one on the Nexus 5 is not the worst we've heard, but it's certainly not among the best. And I mean that its volume is decent, but it sounds rather dull with insufficient depth and high frequencies. Frazaku11 has a camera related question. I own Note 3. I love big screen, but also like taking pictures. I'm at crossroad between 1020 and 1520. I need an honest opinion, please. Thanks. Well, the Nokia Lumia 1020 and 1520 are great smartphones, although I'm not really sure that moving from a Note 3 to any of them could really be considered an upgrade. You know, you really have to be prepared for a much more limited application catalog Windows Phone 8 will be able to offer you. That said, I also don't think that um, there's going to be so much of a uh, leap forward with regards to the quality of the pictures you'll be taking. Of course, it depends on uh, what you'll be trying to achieve, but uh, if you aren't trying to get some almost professional quality level with your shots, then I don't think that the difference in quality is worth the hassle of changing handsets. Still, if you really want to make the switch, uh, if you don't mind the extremely large size of the 1520, then I would say that getting the 1520 would be the better option because it's just newer and it has better internals. John Tigamao from our YouTube channel wants to know, hey Ray, I got three questions. When will Sony Xperia Z1 get 4.3 or 4.4 update and which Sony Xperia phones getting 4.3 and or 4.4 update? Are there any news about Ubuntu phones? Now, as far as the Sony updates go, um, the Android 4.3 update for Xperia Z and Z1 is expected to arrive sometime this month. In addition, the Sony Xperia Tablet Z, the Z Ultra, the ZR, the ZL and the SP are also expected to receive the same update. When it comes to Android 4.4, Sony has promised to update the Z, the Z1, the ZL, the Z Ultra and the Tablet Z, but the time frame has not been given. With regards to your question about Ubuntu phones, uh, well, it seems that although the Edge phone campaign couldn't get funded, uh, the Ubuntu Touch OS is still being developed and they have recently announced that they have signed with the first uh, hardware manufacturer. Uh, for Ubuntu phones in the future and they're hoping to get the first such phone uh, on the market around uh, the beginning of 2014 but the name of the company which is going to be manufacturing it is still a secret. So that was all for today's episode of the Phone Arena Q&A. Be sure to post your questions below for next time or in our Q&A post at phonearena.com.